The first task in setting up the Hikvision ANPR camera is to open the camera in the web interface using the IP address to configure the settings. If the IP address is not known, then download and install the SADP tool from the Hikvision site. When it is run, it will detect the camera and display the model number, serial number, MAC address, firmware version and the IP address. After noting the IP address, open the web browser and enter the IP address as the URL. Follow the instructions for logging in as an administrator using the correct username and password. The camera configuration page will now be presented. Adjust the settings to their required values paying attention to the brightness, WDR and shutter speed settings. Selecting the road traffic option will allow the onboard LPR functions to be activated and configured. This feature is only available on the LPR-enabled cameras. The detection area is configured by moving and adjusting the yellow border lines to suit the requirements. Set the plate mode to small for license plates that are smaller than 35 pixels and large for plates that are greater than 35 pixels. And then when the save button is clicked, the green bounding lines will snap into place and the settings will be saved. Ensure that the arming schedule is correctly set. The linkage methods are not required to interact with Cathexis Vision and so their settings are only required by third-party devices. Selecting the real-time LPR option will ensure the plates are being detected properly. The camera can now be set up on Cathexis Vision by opening the Setup tab and configuring a new camera with the correct IP address and login details. Ensure that the video feeds are correct and that the relevant access rights are chosen. Whilst in the setup screen, select the integration devices and choose Cathexis ANPR. The HIC camera should now be automatically set up as an LPR detector object. Switching to the Object Properties tab, it can be seen that it is licensed, enabled and online. The camera footage can now be viewed and if overlays are enabled, the license plates that move through the detection zone will be detected and the results displayed on the viewing screen as well as stored in the associated database.